Robin and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make some stained glass out of candy. Um, so what we're going to need is some lifesavers, the um, hard candy ones, not the gummy ones, Ziploc bags, a hammer, a cookie cutter of any shape, but it should be metal, not plastic, and some safety glasses for safety. Um, so step number one, we are going to um, empty all of the lifesavers out of their little packages and separate them by color into the Ziploc. So once you have all of your candies in the bags, like this, um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get our parents and make sure that we have parental supervision and put on our safety glasses. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take our hammer and we're going to break apart all of our Lifesaver candies um, so that they're in like a fine powder. And you wanna make sure that there's no big chunks because the big chunks won't melt properly. So now that we have all of our bags of crushed up lifesavers, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our parents to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 175 degrees Celsius. And then we will move on. We're going to be actually designing our stained glass. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a baking sheet, like a cookie sheet, um, and spray it with cooking spray as well as spraying whatever your um, cookie cutter is with also with cooking spray and then we're just gonna lay out the little pieces of lifesavers that we have in a, any type of pattern um, and then we're gonna put it in the oven and it'll um, create some stained glass. really matter how thick your crushed lifesavers are on the on your cookie sheet and your cookie cutter um you just want to make sure that all of the entire thing is about the same thickness all the way through so mine's about a couple centimeters but it's the same the whole way through um so right now i'm just waiting for my oven to preheat um, and now would be a really good time to hypothesize so basically guess what we think is going to happen to the lifesavers once they go into the oven. Um, so take a minute and think about what you think is gonna happen, what you think it's gonna look like when it comes out. Um, and then we'll get ready to pop our cookie tray with our lifesaver cookie friend. This is mine. Okay, so now that the oven is preheated, we're going to put this guy inside and we're going to leave it for five minutes, um, but we want to keep an eye on it because if it's melting off to the outside of the cookie cutter, we don't want that. We want to make sure it stays inside. So mine is starting to leak out of the sides a little bit, so I'm going to take it out now. And this is pretty much what it's looking like right now. So what we are trying to avoid is this kind of like spillage out of the side. Um, but it's not the end of the world if it happens. It just might mean that your outside lines are. Now what we're going to do is you know, we're going to wait until this is completely cooled. Um, and once it is completely, completely cooled, we're going to come back and we're going to take the cookie cutter off the tray. Um, and we're going to see what our stained glass looks like. Okay, so now mine is completely cooled and I just used... Um, a knife and really carefully broke off the sides um, and then you just want to remove the cookie cutter um, so as you can see mine I uh, wasn't careful enough and it did break a little bit but 
that's okay. I can always make another one or just hang him in pieces. Um, but we can put him up against the window and see how it looks. Okay, and so that's what he looks like up against the window. It looks super pretty, just like stained glass. Uh, now you can hang him up or you can just eat your creation because he's made of candy. Okay, so that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little science experiment. Um, and make sure you subscribe to our channel for new at home um, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.